Hi, welcome to Phil's Computer Lab. This video is about the Roland Sound Canvas VA software synthesizer. Sound Canvas is the de facto standard for general MIDI what old DOS games are concerned. General MIDI music featured in old DOS games was often composed on a Roland Sound Canvas and therefore sounds especially natural and balanced when you have one of those units. These old DOS games can be enjoyed on modern computers through software emulation like DOSBox or ScumVM. Software platforms such as Steam, GOG or Origin sell many of these old games pre-configured with these emulators. Retro gamers who want to experience these old games with Sound Canvas music either got themselves a real MIDI module and connected it through a USB MIDI interface or used sound fonts which try to sound similar to the real thing. Now there's another option. Roland just launched the Roland Sound Canvas VA software synthesizer which faithfully replicates the SC55 SC88, SC88 Pro, as well as the SC8820 MIDI modules. Currently it sells for $125, but there is a trial version available which is time limited and mutes after 10 minutes of usage. Restarting it resets that time limit and you can do this over and over. $125 seems a little bit steep, but a real sound canvas sells for a similar amount and remember you get more than just one unit. So let's take a look at what we need to do to download and install Sound Canvas VA and configure it with games that use DOSBox or ScumVM. All the download links are below in the video description. The first thing we do is head to the Roland website and download Sound Canvas VA. I'm just going with the trial version at this time. Once this has downloaded, we extract the file and run the installation. Take note of the installation folder. We will need this later. The Sound Canvas VA is a plugin for digital audio workstations, but we just need something simple so that DOSBox and ScumVM can talk to Sound Canvas VA. We will need two additional programs. The first one is Loop MIDI, created by Tobias from Wolfsburg, Germany. This nifty tool will give us a MIDI device that DOSBox and ScumVM can use. Once this has downloaded, we extract the file and run the installation. Launch Loop MIDI and then we create a new virtual MIDI port. You can give it an easy to identify name such as Sound Canvas VA. You can then cross it off. Loop MIDI runs in the background and there's an icon in the taskbar. The final program we need is a host for the Sound Canvas VA plugin. There are many hosts. I freely admit that I have little experience with these applications. The one I'm using simply happened to come up in a search and works really well. It is Savvy Host by Hermann from Vienna, Austria. The program will automatically load Sound Canvas VA through a shortcut on the desktop. Once downloaded, we copy the Savvy Host executable file into the Sound Canvas VA directory, the one I pointed out earlier. Then we need to rename it to Sound Canvas VA, spelled exactly like the DLL file that you can see in the same folder. Finally, let's create a shortcut which makes it easier to launch before playing a game. Ok, the hard work is done, now all we need to do is launch and configure Sound Canvas VA. We started through the shortcut on the desktop.
Then we set the MIDI input to the sound canvas via a port that we created with loop MIDI. There are a few options inside Sound Canvas VA, especially putting it into different modes. While I recommend leaving it in SC55 mode, which is the one that is most suitable for all DOS games, feel free to experiment with the other modes. You can also reset the unit. This is handy if you force quit a game and some of the MIDI nodes are stuck. Now all we need to do is configure our games to use the Sound Canvas VA and we are good to go. Let's look at ScumVM first. This is Sam and Max from GOG. After launching the game, press F5 to access the menu. All we need to do is tell ScumVM to use Sound Canvas VM as the default MIDI device. Games that use DOSBox, like Doom 2 from GOG, are a little bit trickier to get going. First we need to tell the game to use General MIDI as a music device. For Doom 2, GOG has included a shortcut to run the setup program, which makes this step quite easy. This is not the case for all games. Sometimes you need to create a manual shortcut or edit configuration files. I've got a playlist of GOG tweak guides, which you might want to check out. The process is always the same, so once you know what to do, it's quite easy. And now we just need to tell DOSBox to use Sound Canvas VA as a MIDI device. First, we check what device ID Sound Canvas VA has. For this, we launch DOSBox, which is always in the game directory. Here we type mixer slash list MIDI. This is a list of all MIDI devices in the system and we can see that on my machine Sound Canvas VA has one as the device ID. Now we open the DOSBox config file which is located in the game directory. We scroll down until we find an entry for MIDI config and that's where we put the one which we got earlier from the device ID. Now just save the DOSBox config file and you're done. If you liked this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Reddit, hit that like button and leave a comment down below.